Bye bye. Adios. <laughs> Come back, ma'am. Come back. Come back. Give me the paper again. Come one will be ten thousand. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. Then gave him the finger. Come back again. Did you say? Did you say that? Yes, sir. Did. Oh, you did say that. I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. Thirty days in the county jail. Oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, yeah. Like, listen. There is part of me that's conflicted about this, to be perfectly honest, because you know it should be based on the crime. But at the same time, your attitude always, always lends into those things. Your attitude always lends in, even if it was like a jury. You know. That's why some people don't want to take the stand themselves. And I don't know who he is, but whoever can sit here at a tragic moment like this and laugh and smile when somebody has lost a family member, I mean, the entire time that Mr. Zerker's sister was speaking, that clown, and that's what I'm going to call him, a clown, was sitting there smiling and laughing. And you can go to me, because if you don't know how to act, you can go to jail. I've actually seen this one like just on my own personal time on YouTube and it's like she was like laughing while somebody delivered like a victim impact statement or something. So leave. Anybody that can sit there and laugh and smirk with somebody, take her, she's one in the back. She's one in the back. Anybody else want to go? You can go too. Imagine, yeah, go to, I think she probably only went to jail for like a day, but still. Go, sit in there and think about what you did. It's like when you're a kid and you gotta like put your nose in the corner. <laughs> I'm like, go sit in that cell and think about what you did, okay? Maybe reflect, cause that's so inappropriate. I need to learn to behave myself. After a judge sentenced another judge to jail time, Kate also erupted in an Ohio courtroom. And taking the defendant into custody wasn't so easy, as a court officer had to drag her out. Former Cincinnati Judge Tracy Hunter was sentenced to six months in jail back in 2014, but she's been appealing the ruling ever since. She was convicted of misusing her position as a judge to help her brother. Oh. To help her brother what? Let me know. That's juicy. Dang, I need to know more. And I need to know why she got absolutely tackled. Dang, that's crazy. Man, it sucks when people misuse their power. It's rude. It's very rude. Yeah, jail time, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Got you on video. That's fine. Your Honor, I, I had no intention so. on skipping out on the lease. Just a second. Whether you did or not, she was whole. It's my house. She doesn't understand that. She doesn't understand that. She's not getting one <laughs> cent from you. Thank not you. a penny. And Thank if you. the hole has to be fixed, let her fix it. She's got to learn to control that temper. She had no right. You understand that. And that's the truth. We stand Judge Judy over here on Top 10 Central. It would be like Mr. Schlesinger, if you paid your $2,000 rent on October 1st, mm -hmm. on October 28th, Mr. Schlesinger came and busted in through your front door. You said, you can't do that. Yeah. I paid my rent through the end of this month. You have no, no right to bust in the front door of my house. This belongs to me until the end of the month. But like, yeah, oh my God, man. Landlords are crazy. Landlords are crazy. Especially living in like a city like Toronto. Holy smokes, they're wild. They want you to bend over backwards for them and then they wanna do nothing for you. It's just wild. I don't care. This is a court of law, all right? It Judge was out of line when you start talking about the children. I don't wanna hear about that. They have a right to be upset. Please. No. Like, how can we make people just leave the room in like a different manner? Judge Jerry. Judge Jerry. Judge Jerry. Move over, Judge Judy. No, never move over, no. Judge Judy. I love the woman. Yeah, no, she'll she'll move you over. She'll be like, Oh yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah, one hundred percent. Does she, does, uh, does Judge Judy have glasses? I I do this. Does yeah. she have glasses? I don't think so. Maybe now she's Justice Judy. Now she got a new show. Yeah, she's got like a purple robe on. She's got a new bailiff. Apparently, her like granddaughter or daughter or something is a like bailiff. a legal expert who sits beside her. A new bailiff? Why should yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. Apparently, people didn't like him. Both parents are fit and proper persons to have custody of the amount of child. I'm awarded joint custody. Just take me. I can't do this. 
This is a disgrace. What you guys are doing, Damn. you need to let yourself I mean, I don't know any of the intricacies, so I can't comment on anything, because maybe she's right, who knows? I mean, I don't think you should just get up and yell at the judge, it usually doesn't work out well, but, you know, when you're talking about your kid, assuming that's the joint custody. <laughs> I just know when I want to try this case. I have any further proceedings, or I have to see you for one further second. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Watch his again. lawyer's face as Webb literally spit on the judge. Uh -huh. But this incident is far from the last time Bass Webb will spit in the face of the law. Oh, wow, that really cut off on a cliffhanger. <laughs> His lawyer's face though, he just turned and he's like, how am I? Help me help you, man. Please, please help me help you. That's crazy. And that's like, you had it, that's a whole separate charge now. You know, yeah, it's time for him to go. Oh and yeah. I don't know who he is. I've seen this one. Whoever can sit here at a tragic moment like this and laugh and smile when somebody has lost a family member. I mean, the entire time that Mr. Zerker's sister was speaking, that clown, and that's what I'm gonna call him a clown, was sitting there smiling and laughing. That you can go to, because if you don't know how to act, you can go to jail. So leave. Anybody that can sit there and laugh and smirk when somebody take her, she's going to the back. Ma'am, you are being taken into custody for criminal contempt. Your disruptive and disrespectful behavior disrupted today's proceedings, and you, ma'am, are going to the Wayne County Jail for 93 days for direct criminal contempt. I mean, and it's that. Apparently, like, somebody was laughing during, like, a victim impact statement. Like, just crazy things that you would never think that anybody would do. Because that's insane. But here we go. And it, I guess she went to jail for, like, it's probably, like, a day or two. But still. Still going to jail. Still consequences for your crazy actions. I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me on my child. What you cheering for? I'm not. No, you were. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit here day after day after day with women hoping a man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way, and abide by a court order and sign a birth certificate and come day after day and week after week so they can grow visitation to have a relationship with the child. And you have no compassion for not just him. I mean, makes sense when she says it like that. Makes sense. I mean, that's so true. That is so true. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the rest of the situation is like, but makes sense when you say it like that. <laughs> yes, sir. I think it's very unfair the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug. And it's I've heard that the lonely all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I don't and know whether it's good or bad. All I know is yes, Tennessee sir. still has it against the law. Shockingly, he lights up. And this time it's noticed immediately. Oh. That's way too close to his hair, first of all. Also, you're in a courtroom, man. <laughs> man, like, Eddie Munson had me in the first half of this video, and then you lost me. And, like, even the judge was like, man, like, I'm not trying to be crazy. I, whatever. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad. It's just the law. I'm a judge. He's like, I don't do that personally. I don't smoke the devil's lettuce. It's just the law currently. Well, it's weird because in Canada, it's very legal. So I'm watch like, we're watching this and we're like, ah, uh, odd, but we get it because, you know, we understand the laws still, I guess. Yeah. Active yeah. laws. <laughs> like, you know. And neither of us would light a joint in a courtroom. No. Perfect. We're out of a courtroom if it was illegal. Yeah. I don't do that. No. I'm a law abider. Yeah. <laughs> Made one payment mm -hmm. of $100 mm -hmm. and you sold the horse to her for $1,500, which means she owes you $1,400. Yes. Right? Yes. Good. Judgment's on the clown to claim for $1,400. We're done. Thank you. How did I excuse oh, you may step out? I got oh, Okay. <gasps> That's so funny. What the hell? <laughs> Can I watch that one again, Chris? <laughs> even I, like, listen, I don't owe anybody $1,400, and even I'm sitting here like, what? In the world, everyone was shocked. Even, especially the people who showed up because they wanted to watch Judge Judy that day. They just got to watch 30 seconds of her. <laughs> That's crazy. So you want to watch this again? Nah, it's cool. I, I did, but now I'm over it. <laughs> I worked it out. <laughs> Sorry, sir. 
Baltimore. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love Judge Judy. Man, when I was a kid and I was sick, um, like in elementary school and stuff, and I was staying home sick, that's all I did was just watch Judge Judy and Judge Mathis all day, because that's what's on TV. <laughs> and Joe Brown. And Joe Brown! Oh my God, how did I forget Judge Joe Brown? Eminem was sued by his childhood bully in 2003 because of the lyrics of his song, Brain Damage, had the bully's name in it. The verse goes, I was harassed daily by this fat kid named D'Angelo Bailey. He banged my head against the urinal till he broke my nose. Doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> like he's just like telling a story. The bully wanted a one million dollar compensation, but the judge dismissed the case and delivered the verdict in Eminem's favor in a rap. That is. That's crazy. I didn't hear about that. It's amazing. I didn't hear about that either. I mean, I mean, yeah. look at Eminem in the courtroom though. That's not current yeah. Eminem at all. He's hashtag not afraid. <laughs> that uh, song was playing the whole time we read that. Also, that's that so funny. funny. <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, don't do that if you don't want somebody to. Talk about it later. But that's a dream though, right? You're like, oh, I'm gonna talk about this bully, this rap song. Yeah, well, I'm but really famous and he can't even get a million dollars from me. Bye. Long distance phone calls, man. I haven't had my phone call yet. Oh, uh, well, you know what I mean? Give a long distance call. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, you just gave me 10 days, right? Is there anything else you'd like? That's all. No, can I go? Stay right there. You go to the ACI for 10 days. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes, sir. May I go, Your Honor? It's yes, sir. May I go, Your Honor? No. Dang, this is like old Judge Caprio. Yeah. I haven't seen this ever. I need more context of what the hell's going on in this one. I I don't know. It seems to be like the back nine of something hot. Something crazy. He wants happened. to leave, but he's like, mm. he's he's on the edge of like, do I talk sh or do I just ride this out? Yeah. I don't know. We'll never know how that one ended. So Hold on, I love the part. Um, here's the memory we're getting ready to make because I made my ruling. Child support is set at $2,300. You're gonna do Thank a you. reimbursement to Medicaid for $276, making your monthly um, child support payment $2,576. <laughs> that's how much you gotta pay. No, that's nah. how much you gotta pay. Thank you, Your The own. children live with him. Thank but you, Your Honor. I don't see the celebration. Thank you. Wait a minute. What, what happened to the celebration? Because you're the one that's paying that $2,576. The children live with him. He should not pay you anything. Thank you, Your Honor. And I said I made my ruling, so I really don't have to hear anything further. Did you have any questions about that number? Dang. She was going off. I mean, listen, if he's got the kids most of the time and she's making money, it only makes sense. You know, you gotta contribute. You can't just be there two days of the week and call that a day. You gotta contribute to everything and every day of the week. You know, having kids is not a small thing. It's a commitment. You gotta sacrifice a lot of stuff, a lot, almost everything really. You know, it's a lot, it's a lot. But then you get a little demon that you have to worry about for the rest of your life. Which means they shut yours off okay. if they're trying to talk over me. Yes, ma'am. So you can save your breath or not. It's up okay. to you. Who are you? That's my husband. I didn't ask you anything. Okay. Just because you are shaking and have an attitude, it doesn't impress me. She just lied to Because between, you. I don't have because reason. her two puppies, you couldn't sell. Her two you, puppies? You mean my two puppies? No, no, no. Listen to me carefully. Okay. Okay. Don't be smart with me. I'm just being Don't a... be she smart with me. She, just took them off. she does. Know, I'm going to give her exactly what she wants unless you straighten up your attitude. Oh yeah. yeah, some reading glasses. Yeah, but I don't know because I just, I, I know the glasses because she reminds me of my grandma. My grandma would always do that when she was mad. She'd be like, listen, she'd take them off and like get closer. Oh dang. She'd make her vision worse so that I'd have to get closer and look at her. Oh you know? dang. She'd put me in that predicament. She's like, you're scary, gonna come to me. Scary, powerful older woman. She's like, I'm nearsighted. Get over here. <laughs> come, come closer. <laughs> Chewing on Werther's. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> Are you mad at me? Sir. Stay with her up. Look who you're paying yourself. You're being just... Not below your bottom. I mean, that's my back. I'm going to see my basketball shorts. Now you're in the box. Took them off instead. By removing your pants, it was extremely poor judgment. Okay? Right. I'm holding you in contempt. I'm going to sentence you to seven days to serve for direct contempt of court. Keep your pants on. In court? Yeah, I would hope so. Maybe wearing a dress shirt and shorts. What are you, Jeff Probst? 
host of Survivor. Get out of here. It's not a court fit. It's not court apparel. What are you, Adam Sandler? Put on pants. He's like, all right, I'll go tally the votes. She's like. <laughs> my guilty is oh like. Oh God. We've been watching so much Survivor, it's insane. He wasn't even wearing a dress shirt though. He's wearing like a sweater. Oh really? It looked nice. Maybe I'm just nearsighted. The guy was wearing basketball shorts under his pants. I don't think he was dressed nice. True. I mean, well, that's like us sometimes. Sometimes we'll wear like nice tops but like sweatpants because you'll never know. Could be right now. Right? Huh? I'm wearing actually, I'm wearing pool flippers right now. You never know. You'll never know. Except for if I walk like this. Yeah. Then but it's kind of <laughs> obvious that I'm wearing something. All 20 toes are out right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing those weird shoes that just, you know, accent the toes, like the Ew. tree frogs. Who wears those? If you wear those, why? Comment down below. Let us know. I want some. Let us know. What size are you? <laughs> I like feet. What? Can I just say he admitted to us that he was intoxicated? I don't care if he's intoxicated or not. What were you cursing at him for? What were you cursing at him for? Your best friend tells me you were cursing at him from the car. Were you intoxicated? You were being dumb, and then he confronts two tiny women in front of the house while him, and it wasn't three, it was like five or six of what? his friends. Were you cursing at five or six of his friends for, you idiot? Because they're losers. Oh. Do you get it? Do you get it? They're manipulative. She's a problem. Your Yikes. I want to know more. I need to go home and watch some Judge Judy today. I need to know what's going on in these. <laughs> I, again, like, why does everybody give the judge attitude? I guess you kind of have to on, like, these shows, like Judge Judy and Joe Brown and stuff, because, you know, it's a TV show, and I think that's why people go on there. It's like the Maury of uh, courtrooms. <laughs> Someone says something yesterday under oath and changes it because they're trying to fabricate something to get out of serving on this jury. There's going to be repercussions. The judge is unsatisfied, demands an explanation. What's going on here? Tell me what's going on. I said I had other issues yesterday, and you said you'd get back to me. All right, so, so why you got issues? Why can't you, you're, you're saying that you can't be fair and impartial to both sides. You're going to completely throw out our entire justice system because you don't want to be fair and impartial. Disgusted with the juror, who happens to be a nurse, the judge throws a book, which turns out to be a pocket-sized version of the U.S. Constitution against the wall. Dang. He's going off. He, uh, I mean, that's not really an appropriate way to act. I don't think. Can't be throwing books. I don't think so. Also, you get called in for jury duty and get caught yelling at you from books. They're like, hey, man, it's my first day here. I don't know how this shit works. This is my only shirt. Also, aren't they supposed to tell you when they can't be, like, impartial? Isn't that the yeah. whole thing? Like, you would, I'd rather have somebody tell me that than keep it to themselves. I don't know. If a grown man was yelling at me like that, I'd be like, I'd pretend to sleep and be like, yeah, man, just, I'm just gonna, just gonna clock out here for a <laughs> So sorry. You're not God. You're not my father. You're not my boss. If you know, you know. If you know, only the real ones know. <laughs> Short King. Hope he's okay. Underwear. Now this may be mine, but this ain't no way. This could be mine. <laughs> this can't fit not no, no, one no, of my boobs. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not one. Out. Mr. Flanori, what is your response to that accusation? Okay, I bought the un underwear at a lingerie store. For her? Yes, for He's her. So I got the wrong size. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm guilty of of getting the, the wrong size. size. That bra again. Do I want to get you, bra? You know, you know. <laughs> her just holding it up yeah. again at the end, being like, "Really?" Just trying to extend it more, but it's like, uh, like, okay. like, come on, we're not dumb. I mean, I, I think he knows the size pretty well. I think he'd have an idea. You would hope, but. How do you think you cannot have a job? What? How do you, what? I couldn't it's hear called, you. No, it's called excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am? See, we're going to get it right in here today. I don't know who's teaching you, but I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm teaching them. Well, uh, well, you're not. <laughs> because when I, I say so, when I say something, the answer's not what. In the world, he's got to have a job. Oh, I start, hold on. I, I started working when I was 13 years old and been working ever since. That baby is how old, Miss Hasty? Six weeks. So how do you take care of the baby? I work. I don't know. Are you applying? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Like, she's just trying to, you know, teach a lesson that his parent should have taught him long ago. 
you know? It's just, when you're in court, you gotta say things like that. You can't go, what? You know, just like how other places, I mean, I guess you can do it, but just not the best, you know, most productive way to be. We'll put it that way, you know? And at my house, he was eating there, sleeping there. He, he yes. was living with you? Basically. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And, and your grandmother? Yes. yes. <laughs> No, not not sleeping no. with her. Yeah, I, yeah. Not sleeping with her, but she was in the house. Her room is right next to. Mine. I did not mean that. I meant was oh. he living with you and your grandmother? Yes, yes Your Honor. Yes. yes. Get your minds out the gutter. <laughs> Were you living with them, Mr. Means? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> that was a hard cut at the end there. <laughs> Oh man, she did not like that. She is not there to play game. She's not there to joke around. Okay, she has a case to get to the bottom of, you know? I don't know if that made sense, but I hope you get what I mean by that. According to court officials, the defendant also gave her the middle finger. 30 days to serve on contempt for flipping me off twice. Judge calls him back. Sir, I'm holding you in contempt for what you did. What's the holding you in? And so... You can take him back. 100 days to serve. Days to serve. Okay. Math comes in. How many more things are we gonna add? That's right. The judge just gave him 100 days in jail. He's done. Yeah. I mean, that's really how easy it can be. I mean, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. It's gonna bite your tongue. Like it's you're so close to being done. Just do it. But just like why? Also, like I wouldn't even do that in real life to anybody who can't put me in jail for doing it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like imagine just, I just like, walk in the other room. I'm like, <laughs> they're like, hey, you're done. We're done. What was that? <laughs> what, what the hell was that? Like, was it's just for? weird. It's just weird. It's just weird behavior. You say you are being disturbed by noise that is being purposefully caused by the defendant. She acknowledges that she is making yes. noise in her house to purposely annoy all of her neighbors. Yes. And she is saying that until all the neighbors band together to get rid of Mr. Vbot, she is going to continue to make everybody's life miserable. They are entitled to the peaceful enjoyment of their home, just right. as you are. Am just I? Just as you. But I'm not hearing the case now against either Mr. Vibot or the city council. I'm hearing the case of these innocent people who have been caused to suffer because you are protesting something that has nothing to do with them. And Ms. Lord, you have to stop. We love it. I mean, yeah, that's what I was thinking when she was explaining the case and the old lady was like, yeah. I was like, this seems like she's in the wrong. Also, this is Oh, clearly like old Judge Judy, you can just tell by the way it looks. How is Judge Judy not aged a day? Like, if anything, she's Benjamin Button. That's how that goes, right? He reverses an age. <laughs> I've never seen the movie, but I just know the concept, you know? That's crazy, she looks, you know, she hasn't aged a day, that's insane. And I need to know her skincare routine. Oh, that's crazy. I need to know more about what's going on here because that's not normal. What's the backstory, guys? Let me know. I don't like it. Something bad's going on there. Did you say something? Sorry, can I have a tissue? I'm allergic. Oh. <laughs> oh, John. <sighs> Goodbye, John. See you later. Off you go. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is clearly like the British Judge Judy. Fine. No, out, out you go. <laughs> really? Oh, I've been called a lot worse by a lot better than you. <laughs> what, can't I? what a chump. I don't understand why, of all the people to be rude to, why on earth? Why on earth? Don't know why it's gonna be the judge. Just seems like a bad decision, personally. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Suzanne Wall. My was battery. Oh, wow, I know, man. But that's the oh, way life is. What did he say? I called you a because you're... Woo. Uh, I apologize, I was out of line. I'm just upset because this is not what I was charged with yesterday. Okay, sir. I was sir. charged with a battery. I accept your apology and I will uh, sentence you to 60 days in the Broward County Jail. Can I take the back in? All right, sir, hold it, come on back. Come on back, sir. 
I asked if you're allowed to do that for me. All right, sir. Talk. Do you? I find you in contempt of court for the second time. You said that, sir. You have nothing. I'm going to send you to another 60 days to run consecutive to the prior 60 days. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, no. <sighs> I mean, man, like, I get it. I get it. I get it. Sometimes you're really angry and you need to let it out. But uh, here and that way is not the time or place, you know? It's just not a good look, not a good option. So attacked right now. I don't know what to do. Somebody oh. please send help. I'm just so attacked. Help. Help. He needs a gavel. He needs oh, no. a This can't be real. It can't be. This can't be real. But imagine it was. I kind of hope it is. Yeah. Is it? I mean, people are whack. People do stuff like that all the time. We'll never know. I see stuff like that on the subway in the mornings, and I'm like, well, this is, <laughs> this is very real. Like, you know. Yeah, so true. Saw a guy with an accordion the other day. Not crazy. Just decides to play an accordion at 8 a.m. No worries. Pastor Nunez owes Hillsborough County four million dollars in fines. Code enforcement says Four he's let some million? of his 40 rental homes fall into disrepair. Let him, let me put me in jail. That's what I like to them to do. Maybe. That's what the 73 year old told us last week. Why don't you kill me here too? I'm here too. Both. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. your mouth. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. You're in a courtroom and you respect this court. We're going to have a contempt hearing, sir. I'm you sorry. will not mouth off to me. You understand I'm me? Sorry. Nunez lost his temper with the judge today in this Tampa courtroom. Still, he gave him a 30 day grace period to hire a private attorney. So this guy, he's a landlord, so he's making money off of people, won't pay any fines, everything's in disrepair, and now he's getting angry that he has to face the consequences of that? Sir, come on, come on. You gotta take a little responsibility here. You don't think you did anything wrong? <laughs> Four million dollars, that doesn't just happen overnight. You know what I mean? That's somebody who's been fucking up for a while. You kicked in her door for which she had paid rent for the entire yes. month of August. You had no right to kick in her door yes. on the 27th, the 28th, or 29th of August. Play it again, Sam. I love this. Got you on video. That's fine. You had no right to do this. it. And there is no question in my mind that a person who could not, with that attitude that I saw, cause this injury, you're going to pay her exactly what she asks for, which is $1,500. Judgment on the counterclaim, $1,500. You got a bad temper. You want to continue to rent to her? <laughs> I love this. That's great. I mean, yeah, we love the video receipts. In this day and age, everyone's got a camera. You can't just get away with anything anymore. That's it. We saw the proof. The proof is in the pudding.